Today, we're delving into an important topic that affects many of us, inflammation. Did you know that the foods you eat can play a significant role in either promoting or preventing inflammation? Stick around as we uncover the foods you should steer clear of to keep inflammation at bay. Before we dive into the foods to avoid, let's quickly understand what inflammation is and why it matters. Inflammation is a natural and complex biological response that occurs in the body when it detects harmful stimuli, such as pathogens, like bacteria, viruses, damaged cells, or irritants. The purpose of inflammation is to protect the body and initiate the healing process. It's a crucial part of the immune system's defense mechanism. When the body's immune system recognizes a threat or damage, it releases certain chemicals, including histamines, cytokines, and white blood cells to the affected area. These chemicals cause blood vessels to widen, allowing more blood flow to the affected area. This increased blood flow brings immune cells and nutrients to the site to fight off any potential threats and aid in the healing process. Inflammation can manifest in various ways such as redness, swelling, heat, pain and loss of function. Acute inflammation is a short-term response that is necessary for the body to heal from injuries or infections. Once the threat or damage is resolved, the inflammation subsides, and healing takes place. However, chronic inflammation is a long-term and persistent response that can be harmful. It can result from various factors, including autoimmune disorders, ongoing infections, and lifestyle factors such as a poor diet, lack of exercise, and stress. Chronic inflammation has been linked to a range of health issues, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, arthritis, and even certain types of cancer. So, while inflammation is a natural and necessary process for healing, chronic inflammation can lead to health problems. That's why maintaining a balanced lifestyle, including a regular exercise and healthy diet, can help prevent or manage chronic inflammation and its associated risks. So let's take a closer look at some specific foods that you might want to avoid or limit in your diet. 1. Refined sugars. Refined sugars are prevalent in many processed foods and sweetened beverages. Consuming too much sugar can lead to a spike in blood sugar levels causing the body to release insulin to regulate it. This cycle of high and low blood sugar levels can contribute to chronic inflammation over time. Refined sugars also have been shown to increase the production of pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines. These cytokines are part of the immune response and play a role in promoting inflammation when they are produced excessively. To reduce your intake of refined sugars, limit your consumption of pastries, sugary breakfast cereals and sodas. 2. Trans fats. Trans fats, also known as trans fatty acids, are artificially created fats that are commonly found in fried and processed foods to enhance flavor, texture and shelf life. They are considered bad for inflammation and overall health due to their negative impact on various biological processes within the body. Trans fats are artificially created fats that are formed through a process called hydrogenation, which converts liquid oils into solid fats. However, research has shown that trans fats are associated with numerous health risks, including inflammation. These fats have been shown to promote inflammation by triggering an immune response and interfering with the body's natural processes. They can also increase LDL cholesterol levels and lower HDL cholesterol, leading to an increased risk of heart disease. To avoid trans fats, steer clear of deep fried foods, commercial baked goods and packaged snacks that list partially hydrogenated oil in their ingredients. 3. Highly processed foods. Highly processed foods such as processed meats, frozen dinners, packaged snacks, sauces, condiments and instant noodles often contain additives, preservatives, and unhealthy fats that can promote inflammation. These foods are typically low in nutrients and high in empty calories. It's important to note that not all processed foods are unhealthy. Some minimally processed foods like frozen vegetables and whole grain bread can be part of a balanced diet. However, focusing on whole, unprocessed foods and cooking meals from scratch whenever possible can contribute to a healthier lifestyle and reduce the consumption of highly processed foods. 4. Excessive Omega-6 Fatty Acids Omega-6 fatty acids are essential for the body and play a role in various physiological processes. 
but an imbalance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids in the diet can contribute to inflammation. Western diets tend to be rich in omega-6 fatty acids from sources like fried and processed foods as well as vegetable oils such as corn oil, soybean oil and sunflower oil. At the same time, omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties, are often lacking in these diets. To achieve a healthier balance, opt for cooking oils rich in omega-3s, such as olive oil and flaxseed oil, and incorporate foods high in omega-3 fatty acids like fatty fish, walnut and chia seeds. 5. Gluten Gluten a protein found in wheat, barley and rye can cause inflammation in individuals who have certain conditions particularly celiac disease and non-celiac gluten sensitivity or NCGS. When individuals with celiac disease consume gluten, their immune system mistakenly identifies gluten as a threat and produces antibodies to attack it. These antibodies also attack the lining of the small intestine, leading to inflammation and damage. It's important to note that there's no need for the general population to avoid gluten unless they have a medical reason to do so. If you suspect you have celiac disease or NCGS, it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and guidance. They can help determine whether gluten should be avoided to prevent inflammation in your specific case. Now that we've covered what to avoid, let's focus on incorporating foods that can help you maintain an anti inflammatory diet. One. Leafy greens. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are rich in antioxidants and nutrients that can combat inflammation. 2. Berries. Berries, such as blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries, are packed with antioxidants called flavonoids, which have anti inflammatory effects. 3. Fatty fish. Fatty fish like salmon, trout, and sardines provide omega 3 fatty acids which help reduce inflammation and support overall health. 4. Turmeric Turmeric contains curcumin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound. Incorporate turmeric into your meals to benefit from its potential effects. 5. Olive oil Extra virgin olive oil is a staple in the Mediterranean diet and is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. It's high in monounsaturated fats and contains compounds that may help protect against inflammation-related diseases. 6. Nuts Walnuts, almonds, and other nuts are rich in healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. They can help reduce inflammation and support heart health when consumed as part of a balanced diet. 7. Green tea Green tea is packed with polyphenols, which are powerful antioxidants. These compounds help neutralize harmful free radicals in the body, which can contribute to inflammation and various chronic diseases. Remember, your dietary choices can make a world of difference when it comes to preventing inflammation. By avoiding foods that promote inflammation and embracing an anti-inflammatory diet, you're taking proactive steps towards a healthier and more vibrant life. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss out on more valuable insights. Thanks for tuning in, and I wish you good health and happiness.